Hey makers this is Truveen and I welcome you all to Power Automate Approval Kit step by step tutorial series you are watching second episode of this series and in this episode i am going to talk about how you can install power automate approval kit from scratch so without further delay let's get started but before that if you haven't followed me on my twitter instagram and on my youtube channel please do follow me and hit the subscribe button it's free for you but it motivates me in lots of other way so without further delay let's get started so here i have opened my make.powerapps.com now to get started with click on the setting gear and open the power platform admin center to configure the overall approval kit for power automate you need the power platform admin center access now you just need to go to the environment section from here and let's start creating a fresh new environment if you have already created an environment for yourself you can skip this particular step now let me click on the new button to create a fresh new environment i am going here and choosing a name for my environment as power automate pocs you can provide any type of environment from here in the real world case most of the time we need to provide the type as a production or a sandbox all right now here for this proof of concept i don't have the enough licenses but i want to explore the feature so i am choosing the developer uh, environment over here but in the real world you need to choose the production or sandbox from here let me select the developer over here and let me click on the next step and let's create the environment so i am selecting this as is and click on save this will create a fresh new environment for me you can see that power automate poc is preparing and it will take some time let's wait for that now our environment has been created successfully let's go to power apps portal and let's refresh the page now from here let's see this is the new environment that we have just created let's open that up so this is the environment which has been created successfully now here we need to install couple of solutions go to the solutions over here and over here you can see that at this moment we can see only this much of solutions now first of all we need to create one approval flow so that what happen here is it will install one package automatically in the environment so i am just creating a fresh new cloud flow over here so let me just go to the flow section from here and let me create one automated cloud flow and let's choose the manual trigger from here now let's add an approval action this is you need to perform this step if you are creating a fresh new environment from scratch and you haven't used any approval action so far okay let's select start and wait for an approval action and let's choose the approval type as everyone must approve and let's configure some of the properties over here taste assign to you can provide your own name over here and let's just provide a name of the flow as a taste flow the main purpose of creating this flow is behind the scene it will install some of the package that's the only thing let it to be saved and let's try to taste this flow now i'm just clicking on taste and click on manually and let's run the flow over here and let's see what will happen click on run flow and let it to be executed it has started executing the flow and it executed that flow over here let's go to the solution all right so after waiting for 5 to 6 minutes i received finally an email for an approval and now let me go to the solution and go to the manage solution and here you can see that this two additional solution has been installed automatically over here just around 2 minutes and 5 minutes ago these are the core approval solution which you must has to have in your environment in order to start with power automate approval kit so make sure that you test your sample approval flow before or you install the rest of the things so this is the first thing you need to do now the next step is to install the creator kit this is the link which i have pasted in the description box open that link and go to the method number 2 app source install wizard and click on creator page on app source this will redirecting you to the app source of creator kit let it to be opened and click on get it now once you cl click on get it now it will redirecting you to the dynamics 365 apps this will open this kind of pop up and now here select the environment 
here I want to install it into Power Automate POC's environment. So I'm selecting that. Click on Agree Terms and Condition and click on Install. This will start installing the Creator Kit for yourself. This is also one of the prerequisites that you need to install. This will take around 5 to 10 minutes. So let's wait for it. And over here you can see that overall progress of the installation and you can see that it is installing. You can simply click on refresh to see the latest status from here. So let it to be installed. Let's refresh the status and here I can see that creator kit has been installed successfully. Let me just go to the solution and refresh the page over here as well to see if my creator kit package has been installed successfully or not. Let me go to the manage solution and over here you can see that all the creator kit packages has been installed successfully. Now let's move to the next step. Now we need to install the Power Automate Business Approval Kit from the GitHub repository. I have pasted the same link in the description box. You can simply click on that and go to this particular URL. If you scroll down a little bit, here you will find one manage package for the business approval kit. Make sure you select this one to download your package. So I am simply clicking on that and that will download this particular package for me. It started download process for me and it has been downloaded successfully. Now let's go to the environment where we have installed this creator kit and this other stuff. Click on import solution and select the package that we just downloaded. So I'm just going here, going to my download folder and selecting this business approval kit, clicking on open and clicking on next, clicking on next. And now here we need to set up the connection for approval. We already created the connection. So we simply select that now for business approval kit office 365 user. Let's click on new connection and that will create a new connection for ourselves. This connection has been created. Now let's go back here. Click on refresh and it is by default selected. Same way for Dataverse. Let's create a connection. Click on new connection, create, that's it. Go to the solution, refresh and here we are. Now click on next and over here you need to provide approval kit organization URL. So what we need to simply do is we simply need to go to the power platform admin center. So here I am in the admin center and select the environment where you are installing this kit. So I'm installing that into power automate POC. So I'm just copying this environment URL from here and pasting it over here. So replace this value with the value that we just copied. So I just pasted it over here and paste this URL into one of your notepad as well because in future you need to enter that again. Click on import and let's start waiting to import this package over here. So you can see here that it is importing this business approval kit. So let's wait to finish this process up. All right. After waiting for 10 minutes, you can see here the business approval kit has been installed successfully and you can see that this is the one managed solution which has been added over here and you can clearly see the publisher as powercat team. Now let's open up the solution and let's go to the custom connector from here. I'm clicking on custom connector section and you can see here there is one custom connector being created over here. Let's open that up. Click on that. That will redirecting you to the new page of Power Automate. Now let's click on edit button from here. Just go to the security tab and here we need to configure the security section. Click on OAuth2 and click on edit option. Now over here the identity provider is Azure Active Directory. But here we need to provide some more information like client ID, client secret and resource URL. So now let's work on that and provide this stuff. For that we need to register one application in the Azure portal. So let's see the step of creating the Azure application using Microsoft Entry Admin Center. Now. We need to register one application in the Azure portal. For that, open Microsoft Entra Admin Center using entra.microsoft.com. Now from the application, click on the app registration. Now click on the new registration from here and provide the name of your application. Here I am providing the name as Power Automate 
approval kit and simply click on the register button. This will register the application over here on the Azure portal. Now we need to click on certificate and secrets. Click on new client secret from here and just provide the description over here. Here I am just providing the description as approval kit token. And over here you can set the expiration time. I am selecting six months over here. Depending on your organization's policy, you can set up anything from here. Click on add. And this will basically add the new client secret for yourself. Now over here, you simply need to copy the value of your client secret from here. So just use this value from here and copy this to the clipboard and paste to one of the notepad and save it as client secret. I am copying this from here and pasting it in one of the notepad. Now you need to go to the overview section and you need to copy the client ID as well from here. Then you need to go to the API permission and over here you need to add one API permission from here. Click on add permission. Over here you will be finding dynamic CRM option. Click on that and from here select the user in per session and click on add permission. Once you add the permission, make sure that you select grant admin consent for DSHA 30 and click on yes. And the permission has been successfully granted. So our Azure app registration has been completed successfully. After registering the app in the enter ID, let's go to the custom connector section again and let's enter the copied value that we have done during the app registration process. So let's copy the client ID value. So I'm pasting my client ID over here. Same way I'm pasting my secret value over here that we have just did. Now over here we need to provide the resource URL as well. So resource URL is nothing but your environment URL. And that's also something which we have done in the previous step. Copy your environment ID and paste it over here and use HTTPS before that. All right, that's perfect. And now let's click on update connector. All right, custom connector has been updated successfully. Now scroll down a little bit and you can see here there is one redirect URL available over here. Just copy this redirect URL from here. Now go to your Azure portal again and just go to the overview section. Over here, there is a section called redirect URIs. Click on that. And over here, you need to select add a platform. From here, select the web option and paste the co copied URL of re and paste your redirect URI over here. So I'm just pasting that URL over here and simply click on the configure button. All right, so you can see that you have added this redirected URL over here. Now let's go to the custom connector again and go to the taste section over here. Now from taste section, first let's create a new connection. So I'm simply clicking on new connection. Select your account and that has created this connection successfully. Now let's go to the second method from the operation section, get published workflow. All right. And now let's do the taste operation. Let's click on taste and let's see what we are getting here. And you can see that here I'm getting the response as 200 success, which means that custom connector is working absolutely fine. So we are good with this step. Click on close and our custom connector modification has been done. Now let's check if any of the flow are turned off from the business approval kit section. Go to your business approval kit solution and click on the cloud flow section from here. There are 23 cloud flow over here and let's check the status of the cloud flows over here. So you can see that most of the cloud flow are on turn on stage at this moment over here. So we don't need to do anything over here. But let's say for an example, if any of your flow is in turn off stage, you need to turn that on using these three dots. And over here, you will be able to see turn on section. In my case, everything is turn on. So all good. I don't need to perform anything else over here. But in your case, if it is turn off, you need to 
turn that on and one more thing i also want to highlight that you need to turn on the flow in the sequential manner if it is turned off sequential means one by one let me send you one url over here in the description box which is showing the sequence of every flow over here so basically this is the official microsoft documentation and when you scroll down a little bit you will be finding this particular sequence of the flow so make sure that this flows are turned on in this sequence okay if any of your flow is turned off but most of the time it will be fine okay so our business approval kit has been installed successfully now let me go to my solution and click on the app section and let me see the business approval management application that has been created so this is one model driven application which has been created as a part of this solution and this is called as power automate approval kit and over here you can configure lots of other things you can create your own approval workflow multi stage workflow and all click on allow in order to get started with it and over here you can see that here it will show you uh your submitted workflow your received any approval request so it is a centralized place here you can configure the workflow link the workflow or configure any basic settings and those stuff over here and i will be talking about this entire application end to end into my next episode where we will take one real world example of setting up the approval process for contoso coffee machine so just wait till the next session until then you can simply go to the business approval management model driven app and start exploring this application over here so over here you will be able to see approval center approval designer different kind of setup there are different kind of uh, quick links also available all right we will talk about this thing in depth into my upcoming session hope this video helps you and values your time if so hit thumbs up and subscribe my channel and visit my channel home page where you can find all the links from here where you can connect me on all my social media handle along with my website